These are what religions exist to do, is to answer these two great questions. You know, where did we come from? And now that we are here, how shall we live? You know, and, and, and in my view, the one thing we know about all religions on the first question is that they're all wrong. That's not where we came from. You know? um, and maybe beautiful stories, you know, I mean, Genesis is a beautiful story. The Hindu creation myth of Shiva churning the universe into being in a giant pot, you know, is a perfectly beautiful story. The Nordic creation myth, you know, with the cow at the bottom of the Ganunga Gap, all that, that's a beautiful story. Um, there's nothing wrong with them as stories. They're excellent stories, but they're not true. You know, they're fictions. Um, and as far as the ethical question is concerned, I frankly, I don't want to be told what to think by a priest. You know, I think wherever, you, wherever you've had religion in charge of the ethical question, you get inquisitions, you get ayatollahs, you get, you get oppression. You know? so, so from my point of view, I don't look to religion to answer the two great questions of life. You know, I, I look elsewhere, and so it becomes unnecessary. There's an American humorist uh, who once said that Puritanism is, get this right, is the haunting fear that someone somewhere might be happy. <laughs> and, and I do think that uh, a part of the project of religious Puritans is against happiness. You know, it's against pleasure. Uh, it's to create a very austere world in, in which suspects pleasure. You know, in the way that the Taliban banned music. You know, I mean, that, that's, that's, not an, that's not an accident. You know, that's actually at the center of the project. Um, so, of course, you find that, whether it's in, in, in an austere Christian environment or, or in a Muslim environment. Um, I just think that, that at this particular moment, what's happened is um, the militarization of a particular religion. You know, and so that's, that's, um, it's not the religion itself, really, so much as the militarization. But I'm no fan of religion. I mean, I think it's wrong. If you think about the, the, the human race, you know, as, as children growing up, you know, I mean, I mean when, when we're children, we need adults, you know, to tell us what to do and how to behave and what is right and what is wrong, you know. And, and, uh, and in that same way, I think in the childhood of the human race, um, we needed gods, you know, we needed ultimate arbiters who would t say, do this, you can't do that, you know, and, in the same way as our mother and father would tell us. You know, and, and it's interestingly to me, I'm very interested in, like, in Nordic mythology, there is this moment that comes, the so-called twilight of the gods, when the gods leave, you know, no more gods, you know, I mean, then you have men, and you have heroes and so on. Um, so this idea that there's a moment in the history of the human race when you move beyond the gods, you know, and then it's up to you, that it's just human beings, you have to make the best of it as you can.